Okay. Hello guys. Sorry the uh, sponsor list is upside down. But I'm going to uh, do the pour from up here. This is the little Nikon camera. So uh, I hope you can see it. It's a little bit um, zoomed in. So you really get the, uh, the overall picture. I already had uh, two people uh, ask me about the, uh, the cup and saucer I just showed. Wait a minute. I gotta, I gotta see if I can... Uh, whoops. There you go. So the top bit, if you're gonna Google, Google for Art by Murray. That's, uh, that's what you should uh, be looking for. And uh, here is the beautiful cup and saucer. There you go. Uh, I, I totally understand why you uh, might be blown away by that because I have never ever seen anything like that before. Maybe some of you have, but I haven't because um, it is so uh, organic with the wooden saucer. It is so beautiful. So um, if you want uh, something like that, go check out Art by Marie. And right now, wow, look at that. Uh, we're going to be playing with the pigments again. So I showed you in the last video the colors that I'm, I went for. I left some out. I, I will go get them. The ones I was use, I use in this one is again the kiwi because I really love that. Then the orange peel, and we have ginger peach. We have sunburst, and we have autumn leaf. Autumn leaf looks kind of uh, I don't know a really funny color in the in the little jar, but once you um, start mixing it up, then you get these most beautiful. Look at that! Is that beautiful? You know the when the light hits it, it is uh, gorgeous. So what I want to do is a. I'm not sure if I have enough paint for a 30 by 30, but I think I'll do an experimental. That way, if anyone now really likes it, uh, I got a big hole in my glove. Why do I keep doing that? You know, I I put my finger on here to break the uh, plastic. Every time I do that, it rips right through my glove. Okay, there we go. So, got the tools, the big uh, pellet knife, and I have my little squeegee. I have my tiny little pellet knife, and I have a new pellet knife. This is a new one, made in Belgium, so I might just, uh, ooh, it has a little, that should work. Okay, now I'm um, thinking about, you know, we've done the flip cup, we've done the pour. Uh, what we haven't done yet with these pigments is just put them on the canvas and then swipe it. So let's do that, and what I'd like to do is start out with just paint and I'm going for a sort of a an uh, a sort of a autumn autumn like look that's pretty that's kind of what I uh, imagine you know those are the leaves then the autumn in the autumn everything turns sort of brown so I'm gonna do that. And the other side of course. Oops, come here little stick. And as you can see I'm leaving a little room in between because that's where I want something that's gonna pop. 
So um, I thought I'd put in there that kiwi, but then not too much because I, I want to go both sides. That's it. See, that is that metallic, that pigment from uh, Color Art. Then I'm going to do the same with the uh, beautiful, beautiful dark brown with all those beautiful colors in there. I don't think you've ever seen me do one of these. Is that right? Yeah, I think so. So then we're going to come in with another color brown, which I really like, Burnt Sienna. Turn it around again. And let the color come back again, like that. Already a lot of mess. <laughs> oh, don't we just love it? And, and I come with another beautiful pigment from Color Art. See, I picked out paint that goes, um, that goes with, the, uh, with the pigments. I thought that would be uh, pretty cute to do. So then I'm going to come in with the yellow. Like that. Come here, little naughty stick. Like that. Turn it around again. This is going to be sort of an autumn thing, but it I want it to be pretty and uh, uplifting. So that's why I got these colors that I thought would look really cute together. And then I want to come over it with this yellow right beside it. So I can swipe over it somehow. going to figure that out in a bit. A little bit more of that beautiful, beautiful pigment. Just like that. Okay, I think we've got it pretty full. Maybe just let that beautiful green, that kiwi color come back here. Because I sort of think it needs it. And maybe up here, just a little bit. Just to let it come back. Sometimes you have to look at your um, composition and, you know, just add or scrape off a little if you don't think it's uh, totally in balance. It does need a little balance. You know, abstract, sure, abstract is abstract, but, you know, you do, you do want to have a little balance. Ooh, that one wasn't supposed to go there. That's better. Okay, let's see what it does when we let it flow a little. See, this is uh, something I'm going to be trying out later because what, what I'm seeing on top of here is it's starting to bloom. And I kind of like that. That is so organic for me that I think it is really, really pretty. There we go. Cleaning it off a little bit. That is beautiful right there. <coughs> I want to keep it like this. beautiful. Now I'm thinking it might just be a little bit too thick, but who cares. It'll just take a little longer to dry. I'm pretty sure it's not going to crack. Ooh. One more time, slowly. That is better.
That is pretty. Now let it. Now just. I'm gonna keep you uh, with he, with me here because I just want it to let it grow a little bit. And um, it is as we speak. I'm seeing um, colors popping through other colors, and um, the cells are pretty. I I do want to torch it just a little bit. Let's see what happens. Not much, but enough. There's a lot going on, and I'll uh, take you down in a bit. I just want to make sure that I have the whole thing covered, so I'm getting my uh, paintbrush. Because I do want to put it up on the uh, workbench and then not have to uh, do the sides. Just take a bit, it won't take too long. There we go. And the other side. I don't have much room to uh, work here. <laughs> Here we go, a little corner there, a little corner here. And it's covered and ready for you guys to see a close up. Oh, we are going to go through the 13,000 subscribers today. I just checked and I saw that we only need about 50 and then we have 13,000. And I don't know what happened, but somehow the views are picking up like crazy because um, I just, you know, just a couple of days ago we, I had one million views. And I'm already up to uh, 1.2 million. So that is awesome. And it's, it, it is a little behind, so um, that's cool. I like it. A lot of new people, so uh, if you're new, welcome. Welcome to my little channel. And if you have a lot of questions, please go to the playlists. A lot of people don't know that there are playlists, but there is. Um, I made a couple so you can follow the, um, the uh, videos, but I also made one with the basics. So if you um, want to get into this and you don't know where to start, um, go to the playlists and look for the one that's named basics because I've put all the basic videos in there and it will explain exactly what you have to know to get started in this uh, awesome acrylic pouring so I'm gonna get you guys down here we go now take a look at this I'm not even sure how, how I can get this one to, um, how I can get it to focus. It should focus all by itself, right? So up here, some amazing stuff going on. Can you see all the glitter? All those beautiful shiny colors coming together. That green is uh, is almost alive. It's so beautiful, especially this this little bit down here. It is amazing. Then here's a big patch of green coming through. The green, I don't know, the kiwi green. I really like it. It has something so beautiful. So for um, our autumn piece, because this for me, um, this is a sort of an autumn colors, which I really like. 
So that's it for me. And right now I'm going to um, upload this one again. This will be the third, including that small one, of course. But this is the last one for today, guys. Then I'm going to go uh, answer some comments and um, see, go see on my Facebook group because a lot of people post stuff on uh, Sunday and uh, I want to be able to leave some comments and uh, have some fun over there. Anyone that hasn't already joined, please, you're welcome to join. Although we might be closing down my Facebook group when we reach 5,000 and that's going to be pretty soon um, because you know it's not about for me it's not about uh, quantity it's about quality and I've had one or two people already say you know um, I post something and then within 10 minutes it's almost uh, gone and I don't like that because I think everyone should get a chance to show their stuff and it shouldn't go down that fast so uh, we might be closing it at around 5,000. And uh, if anyone, um, you know, feels the need to make a group, you know, maybe you like, you only like to um, um, do something like make, make a Facebook group, please do. And uh, invite me, please. I will be happy to join. And um, I think, this, you know, a couple of small groups work much better because... Um, that way, uh, you know, people have more chance of their uh, art being um, uh, looked by by a lot of people, getting a lot of comments, getting a lot of help. So uh, maybe if you're thinking about making one of those Facebook groups and you really enjoy uh, running one, I would say go for it and uh, have a lot of fun because you can do a lot of stuff on Facebook groups. You know, do um, we do like one, once a week we do sort of a challenge. And then uh, oh, we have all kinds of stuff, polls and I don't know what. So uh, be my guest, please do. Okay, guys, got to go. Got to post this and uh, going to clean uh, everything up. And then I am going to take a nice long bath <laughs> with some really, really good smelling uh, bath salts. So uh, see you later. And I might not post tomorrow. But then again, I might. You never know. I'm, I'm pretty much addicted to these videos. But if not, don't worry. Nothing wrong with me. But tomorrow's a work day and I will be off to work. But if I can make it, maybe I'll do a short one. And there's some good weather coming up in Holland uh, pretty soon. And I'll take you on a, a little hike around uh, the neighborhood. Because I promised that to a couple. So we're going to do that too. So see you all have a great Sunday uh, for all the mothers out there have a happy Mother's Day hope you got a lot of paints and canvases <laughs> okay yeah see you later okay I'm gonna stick this one uh, behind the other one because um, I made this one I, ha I still had some paint left over I thought I'd do some blowing through a store see this one Look at what happened. I had a little malfunction in the straw. <laughs> Look at my cupboards. Not sure if you can see it, but they are covered in paint. I got so into it. It was so much fun that I just had to keep on going. Even though everything was splotching all over the place. I can't help it, but when I... I think I even want a new one there. I'll show you how it works. See how that works? So um, this stuff, it is, um, it, it makes cells and it's pretty and all kinds of stuff. But it's sort of, um, once it makes the cells, it sort of, um, I don't know, it sort of goes a little bit softer because I made the paint thinner so don't make the paint too thin but I think that's going to stay most of these uh, and once it dries it's going to be amazing because there's so many pigments in here so that's going to be cool and I'll be sure to show you that tomorrow but this was just um, one of those uh, experimental things that I had to do sometimes you just have to let go
and don't worry about making a mess just make a mess and then by some strange reason you discover new stuff and then you go on with that and that's the whole thing of uh, making a lot of uh, beautiful art that doesn't look like uh, you're you're making one after the other because it's always different so I'm, go I'm gonna stick this behind the other uh, video oh you won't even see it because it'll be already be behind it and then I'm gonna clean up this mess because this is a mess okay thank you all bye bye